In this video I'm going to show how to set the size of a Python turtle screen. What you're looking at here is a mock-up of what my computer screen looks like when I'm making these videos. And you can see that the background is the background to the videos that I produce. Now the resolution I have for my screen is as shown here. I have it 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. Of course there are other resolutions available and you would set these up using your operating system. But for the purpose of this video I'm going to work on the assumption that the monitor that we're using is 1280 by 720. 20 and that's the size of the screen on the monitor now onto this monitor we can have a look at this computer program here and we've seen this before what it is going to do it's going to create a screen and it's going to make that screen yellow so if we have a look at what it looks like at runtime we're going to see this of course the size of the screen can be seen by the yellow background that's the screen that's the turtle screen and of course you can see it's not taking up the full size of the monitor so it isn't 1280 by 720 it's a smaller size than that and what you're looking at is the default size when you don't specify what the default is for your turtle program so let's zoom into the monitor so all we see is what's on the monitor so this is what you will see and to remind you the width of the monitor what's displayed on the monitor is going to be 1280 as the width and is going to be 720 as the height now the yellow background that you're looking at is the turtle screen and you can see it isn't taking up the full size so it's not 1280 by 720 it's a smaller value in both cases now this yellow area which is the turtle screen its default size is as you can see here it's 640 now why 640 well default wise it takes up half of the width of the monitor so it defaults to 50% of the screen's width resolution, where the screen, I'm really talking about the monitor. So this number is half of this number here. Let's now consider the height of the Python turtle screen, i.e. the yellow screen that we're looking at. And what we will see is this. It's 540. Now that is a fraction of this 720. And in fact, it's 75% of the screen's height resolution. And the height resolution I'm referring to is this, which is the height of the monitor in pixels. So this is 75% the size of this. And that's the default value. So the width and height of the yellow area is shown here. You can see it's 640 by 540. And this is the default size. Now the 640 and 540, we've seen that they're 50% and 75% the size of the monitor's resolution. Of course, if this was not 1280, this wouldn't be 640. And this is 75% the size of this one. But of course, if this was a different value, this would be as well. So what you're looking at here is the default size for a turtle screen based upon this resolution for the monitor, the 1280 by the 720. Now let's consider this computer program. We're importing the turtle module so we can use its features. This line creates an instance of the screen class that's associated with the turtle module and we will be assigning that to this. So this is the name bound to the instance of the screen class and on this line I'm referring to that instance and I'm calling this method setup passing in to the width 650 and to the height 650. So what we will see when this executes is the following and this is 650 pixels by 650 pixels. I've just happened to make them equal in this case. Now these are not fractions of what the monitor is, what the resolution of the monitor is. These are literal values. These are the actual values that I'm setting up. I want the width to be 650 and I want the height to be 650 as can be seen here. Let's now consider this snippet of code here and you can see it's almost identical to the one above but the difference is here here, if you look, I've made the width 450 and the height 450. So when this executes, what we will see in the runtime is the following. And that's going to be 450 pixels wide 
and 450 pixels high and I've put it on top of the bigger screen so you can see the difference in the size so if we look at this one and this one we're invoking the same method in both cases but if you look at the arguments you can see we're sending in different values let's now consider this snippet of code here and you can see that I've made the width 550 and the height 330 so if we look at what this will look like it'll look like this here and we will have the width of 550 and we'll have the height of 330 and what you can see I have put that on top of the previous two screens to allow you to easily see the different sizes and the different shapes of the window the first two were obviously square because the height and the width were the same but if you look here I've made the height and the width different to what's above and different from each other the width is 550 and the height is 330 just to remind you about the assumption I'm making here for the size of the monitor that I've set up with my operating system it is 1280 width and it's 720 height in pixels so I'm now going to consider this computer program here and it's importing the turtle module it's creating an instance of the screen class and here we're sending a message which invokes this method but what we're passing in now to the width is 0 0.5 and to the height 0 0.5 now these two numbers the 0 0.5 in both cases are not referencing the number of pixels we don't have half a pixel so what is happening is that this 0 0.5 is saying go to this number which is the width of the monitor and multiply it by 0 0.5 and consequently you'll get half of 1280 and what this one is doing it's saying take this 0 0.5 and multiply this number here consequently you'll get half of this number so so if we look to the screen that's produced it's this one here and if we now consider the width of this we can see it's 640 which is exactly one half of this and the height well we can see that's 360 which is exactly half of this because this has multiplied this to give us 360 and this has multiplied that to give us 640 so let's now consider this computer program which is almost identical to the one we've just considered except if you look in the brackets you can see we have 0 0.35 here for the width and 0 0.65 assigned to the height now that's different to what we've just been looking at where in both cases it was 0 0.5 if we now consider what's happening here we know the width is 1280 so we take that 1280 and we multiply it by this 0 0.35 and that's shown here there's your 1280 width multiply by 0 0.35 and that gives you 448 and that's the width in pixels of the window of the screen that's going to appear the turtle screen that's going to appear now the height of course was 720 the resolution of the monitor's height was 720 so we take that 720 and we multiply it by 0 0.65 which is this number shown in the code and of course when you multiply these two together you get 468 pixels so what we now have is the following window the following screen the following turtle screen within your python program and if we consider the width of this it's 448 taken from this calculation and the height well it's 468 taken from this calculation so to summarize if I want to set up the height and the width of my Python turtle screen I can use this method which takes in these values the 550 and the 330 and that will fix the size of the window to precisely that the 550 by 330 if you want to make it a certain proportion of the size of your monitor's resolution you do it as shown here you pass in the fraction of the width you want and the fraction of the height you want where clearly the width is the width of the resolution of your monitor as set up by the operating system and the height 
Likewise is the height of the resolution of the monitor set up in the operating system. And of course the width and the height of the actual window that will appear when you use this approach will be dependent upon how you have set up the resolution of your monitor. What this will do is give you 550 by 330 regardless of how you've set up your monitor resolution using the operating system. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.